Hello, and welcome to our playthrough of Everspace 2, a sci-fi open-ish world looter shooter made by Rockfish Games, and now let's head into our episode. Hello, we are back to our playthrough. <clears throat> Hello, we are back to our playthrough of Everspace 2. Um, I discovered some things, so I did do a, bu I did do a bunch of those danger zones. Danger zones are great for getting stuff. Not necessarily earning money. But they are really good for getting equipment, uh, pieces you need to either just shred for parts, that sort of thing. If you want to earn money, do jobs. To give you an idea, I did, took me about, <coughs> excuse me, an hour and a half to two hours, I'll say, to clear out the what? eight or ten danger zones I had triggered, and I got a couple of more in the process, made about 30,000 cash in that hour or two. Uh, did a couple of runs, that helped a little. Uh, still kind of not worth it because of the respawn time, at least not right now. I did 40 minutes of just jobs. We'll say an hour of jobs. And I went from 40, uh, we'll say $55,000 cash to about $105,000 cash. Now, not necessarily strictly jobs. I did do like one or two unknown signals. I did one or two, okay, buy a bunch of shit in Prescott. Sorry, in Union, sell it in Seto. But the majority of that money came from doing jobs. So it is very clear that if you want to earn money, jobs and bounties are the way to go. Having said that, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to keep pushing this, this alternate storyline here, and then we're just going to go ham on the main story. Um, so let's go pick a job. I'll grab like, how many, well let's see, it says pick one, let's see how many it tells us to take. I'll do one, and then I'll say, all right, you're supposed to do two. So, jobs. I don't like Hitman. If I do the delivery, it is here. God, they are annoying. This is gonna cost me money, but I do need the Culver Crystals. Uh... Guess we'll do this one. But now if we go to missions. I need to do four. Alright. Job limit reach? What? Oh shit, I grabbed a bunch. Alright. Let's... Hmm... All right, let's do two things then. I unlocked some new secondary weapons, some new primary weapons. Um, unlocked all the blue modules, so now we're just working on red. Um, uh, I did unlock the mining perk. The way the mining perk works is I hit M. It will tell me. Here we go. That there is a high chance of Insidium to spawn here, and medium chance of Culver and Malamar. Whereas here, I haven't really done any exploring in the Forlorn Vale, so it's not showing me what deposits will spawn. So it's, it's, I thought it would be, oh, there are these resources here. No, it's when, if, if you warp in, this is what has a chance of happening. All right, uh, hanger. Right. So what we're gonna do? Do four. All right, let's do this. We'll do all of these. Oh, I do have. Sorry. We'll do all of these right now. I only got one. Oh, fuck. 
All right, we'll do all of these right now, real quick. And then I want to head to the, our main base and switch out our ship. Actually, if I go here, does it tell me? Yeah, copper, high chance of copper, medium athium, athium and copper. So uh, there's an unknown ore I didn't find here. It's just use, all right, if I'm going around, ooh, I want to probably try to hit up the planes. What is, how to, hold on. Oh, and now I, I don't remember this. So now I can actually go, all right, so now if I want Pulver Crystal, they're saying go either here, or here. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's do... this one. Because this, this is the... I don't like the Hitman jobs. So this Hitman job is gonna pay out 3,400 credits. We'll okay, great. Sounds like a lot. This must be the place where I have a target listed. Yes, I have marked the potential targets. The scanner is ready. Uh, so homing missiles. Oh, and I leveled up. I think I was level 17 last time. Woo! That's my fault. Oh, hold on. Wow, how fast did I... Okay. Swing. Oh, wow, I just shot right by it. Okay, there we go. Did I really just fly by it that fast? Okay. Not a match. Great. On to the next one. Alright, slow down. Let's see. Walk on. Match. Whatever Kato is paying you for this, I'll give you double to, to leave me be. It ain't about all that. You're a bad person and you need to be ended. A wise guy with principles, huh? We'll see about that. Yep. That's that. I completed that job for you. Mr. Kato will be pleased. So we get out of here. Go to the uh, missions. Claim the rewards. Great. But now I have a bounty. Oh, I have to pay $3,600. So that hitman lost me 400 bucks. Uh, now, I'm not going to pay it. I want to see if it just goes down with time. So let's go do the Minesweeper. Now, we're going to ignore the distress calls and the unknown signals and that sort of thing. Three of them. All right. Time to get rid of these mines. Oh, also, I wanted to show off. So I have this beam laser. It has plus 25% to all 
because I gave it the mining catalyst. It came with refund 20% of weapon energy with every resource mine. And a... The 69 and 24% were actually lower. I don't remember exactly how lower, but lower. So, I just slapped a, a, a mining catalyst on it, and now it's just like, this This is what you go to. It's, it's, it just helps with mining so much. I gotta remember, try not to sell that. one here speaking of I bet you that hopefully this has a number of resources while we're here yeah okay well uh, two's not bad would have liked three or four but we'll take it stuff to sell To live to fight again. Okay. Do some quick mining. I actually how close okay. It's not okay, three is good. Not as close as I thought it was. I thought it was like right next door. So good. Just because it never runs out of energy as long as you're mining. Because I get every time I collect a material I get a 20% energy refund. So as long as I collect one, you know, I'm only using 10% to get a single item when I get 20% back, sort of thing. And one in three, essentially, no, for every three I collect, I get a rare resource, and for every two I collect, I get a chance at, um... A bonus resource, so it's just so good for mining. Ooh, wait. Who's missing? Who's shooting me? Woo! Hiccup. We still, yeah, we're still streaming. While we're here. Yeah, that can either get sold or shredded. I was looking at... Should be one more resource we had to mine? Yes. A copper deposit. Alright, then. We do need copper. So... Oh, no, wait. There's two. Ooh, we got a four. Nice. This way. Nope. Wrong thing. All right. Next minefield we need to clear. Let's focus on that. All right. Let's go get. Oh, actually, let's get this one because it's closer. this one. There we go. We're done nice. Here. The contract is fulfilled. I can confirm this. Payment is sent. 
great. So let's go ahead and claim those rewards. Uh, now we'll do... That's accepted job. Okay, so wait here. Mine sweeper. Alright, so we'll do this one next. Actually, we'll do this one next. Uh, and real quick, let's go ahead and repair a drone. You. Only two my oh no those oh this is search and destroy sorry only two minefields wait they're moving now this is the search and destroy who knew it's not gonna get messy in any way shape or form in fact this will be a cakewalk and cakewalk it there we go. Lose a drone. It's all done. Thank you. Weird. Go ahead and clean that. I think. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and shred this and this. Go ahead and do the minesweeper there. I'm not really worried about the drones right now because I want to switch to a different ship. Um, so very soon we won't have the drones, so it's not going to matter. Towards the mines. Range of that up. That'll cover all the mines. Also, I don't think this 20% increased damage if your ship is exposed to sunlight is working. Because there's there's one that's exposed to sunlight and there's one if you're not moving. And this is working as if it's you're not moving. Which is weird to put one to sunlight and one if you're not moving, if they both only trigger if you're All not moving. Cleared. I finished the job. Great. Signature is fine. Here you go. Okay. Go ahead and clear that. Great. Let's get out of here. I would do some exploring, but like I said, I want to switch ships. So we're going to have to go all the way to home base real quick.
there any resources in here? Yeah, I can see some from here. Hold on, real quick. Okay, that's it. I guess that's it. All right. Let's uh, scoot around. Hold on. That's a mine, I think. There it is. All right. And we'll head to home base real quick. was faster. Hold on. Let's do a... Ah, he should be fine. Put trade here. You can have a look at my wares, but no funny business. Whoa! Okay. Yeah. Not to have, but just to shred for parts. These are low. Really low. And I can sell them for medium. And the same thing for these. This is going to cost 13000 This is going to cost 11000 Let's go ahead and buy... And then launch. I should have enough room in whatever ship I grab. To do a quick, uh, when we head back to Prescott Base. And apparently, I was told there's some way to get an achievement around the back of the base. Here? It said look for the spotlights. Ah, Dax's brain. A modest resting place for Dax. Press F. It was easy enough to program the assembly. At least I could do for him. After all he did for me. Press F to pay respects. Yes, that is an achievement. Alright. Alright. So as I was saying. In order to switch ships, what I need to do is this. Throw everything in storage, including this. Then go to my hangar, and then select the ship I want to use. This is the Interceptor. Whoops. We started with the Sentinel. So yeah, this is weapons use boost energy after weapon energy is depleted. Heavily boosts weapon damage and fire rate, provides unlimited energy. Okay. So get 20% of it back. Uh, I don't think we've done a lot with this. So let's go ahead and use our interceptor. We'll do the custom, edit, and while we're here, ship modules. Oh, we only have the one. Wings. Ooh, I like the pred ones, rare. 
This is a medium? Or is this a light? Ship classes. Uh, Ever space rope uh, Mediums. Striker. No, intercept. Book. All right, we'll give it a shot for a little while. So now we have to go back to storage. Let's get all our we main weapons and modules out first. I mean, get the cargo put capacity. All right. Uh, now, other. Sell those. Or, or maybe we keep a little. There. And now, resources. All right. All right. Watch. We're going to use this for today's recording session. Probably won't like it. But I want to give it a fair shot. Uh, what are the classes? I don't like the gunship. I like the bomber and the vindicator. I like the sentinel. I haven't tried the striker. And I'm not a fan of light ships anyways. Like, I might like the vanguard. Because it's a defensive... As weird as it sounds, defensive scout ship. Okay. Oh, right. Um, devices. Repair. Damage boost. Charger. Okay. Yeah, again, 25% maybe. I would do some of the... the, the um, perks related to that. I could craft another one. I'm not sure what I would craft as far as a primary weapon goes. I like beam lasers, rail guns. I do like the gauss cannon. So that could be one. Not a fan of the thermo gun. I do like the auto cannon. something to consider but for now we'll stick with what we got and maybe if we find one i i like this secondary spread of uh, basically dealing with all fighters dealing with capital ships um otherwise i think we're good so let's head back to union So I'm not going to be as tanky as I usually am, but I do, oh, have, let's grab the EMP and the teleporter. Can I? I Discovery isn't bad. I don't think face-off is worth it. Shield Surge might be worth it. But I... Hmm. So you fly in, you, hit, you get a bunch of shields, but I think we're okay, because one of the perks I have... It killing an enemy instantly triggers your shield recharge, which doesn't seem to work all the time. 
So I'm wondering that's actually supposed to be a chance to trigger shield and triple H. Having said that, let's head back to... Oh, sorry, we're not in the Union system yet. Go. Yeah, there's one medium ship for furballs as well. That that is another one. I, I think it's called the Striker. I should probably try when I get there. We go get a chance. Uh, real quick, how do I want to do this? Either way is the Flying Duchess. I'm just looking to sell things real quick. So let's go here. Sell what I have. And then we'll do the next main mission. I, I definitely prefer the 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 Vindicator. Is it the Vindicator? The the the, the um drone ship. That is definitely like my preferred ship. Your old colonial warships. Go. Excuse me. Yeah, so the cybernetics cost 13,000. If I sell them all, I will make 21,000. These cost, what, five? No, 10, we'll say. And I'm gonna make 14. So, if you, whether you, it's, it's iffy and whether it's worth it or not. Like, I know I can sell the clothing here and make a ton of, right? I could buy all 91 for five. 4,500 and potentially sell it all 90 for six or uh, seven or eight thousand in the Seto system. That's just time. All right. Anyways, let's head to the next main mission. We'll do two or three of these or try to. And then we'll go back and do some side missions. I think that's what we do. May I inquire oh. why we just jumped into empty space? Uh, because there's a space station over there? My sensors detect nothing. Good day there, Adam Roslin. It's been a while since I had a clone come for a visit. Okay, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, neither do I. What is going? While we're here... Whoa! The entire station is closed. Okay, don't need the scrap metal. And apparently our clones visit often. All right, Hive, I need you to focus. Run your sensors again. What is this place? Mostly, it's just smoke and mirrors. All it takes is a wave of my hand. My sensors are overclocking. And it's gone. You may call me Fallon Pango. How can I help you, Adam? Cut the act. Don't mess with my ship. How the hell do you know about me? As secrets go in the DMZ, yours is not a very big one. Just take the Colonial Fleet. They can't post warrants for you since no one is supposed to know that you exist. But they still talk about you a lot. That doesn't answer my question. You could say that I simply like to listen to the waves passing through the ether. 
while I tinker away on my devices. I like him. You can't just turn on the radio and tune into encrypted fleet talk. You're some kind of hacker. Who else knows about me? That depends on why you've come to see me all the way out here. I'm looking for a material encryptor. For whom? Can't say. Tit for tat. Nicely done. I can offer you a version for 20 credits, the other for 2 million. Both do exactly the same. Then what's the difference? The cheap one is sponsored by a third party provider. The premium price is exactly what it would cost without the sponsorship. I am not buying the one for 2 mil. Of course. I'll just remove it from my loadout then. Okay. I'm not sure we wanna. Bye. So we want any pinks? No, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Um don't need the money that much right now. Although I get the feeling that will change. Uh, crafting, real quick. No. Ah, but I, okay, I didn't notice that. So to, to, to make greens, you need power couplings. To make rares, you need the rare and the uncommon and the common to make superior. All right, so you want any weapons, modules you get, you just want to shred, unless you feel like you're really strapped for cash. Then it's okay to sell a few of them. But you're always going to need to shred them because you're always going to need those resources. So like, it potentially could be worth it to buy blues and greens to get the resources you need to make purples. Sort of. Um, well, actually, we always need plasma. I think that's it. Uh, Alright, let's buy this. The hardware module. The drivers are transferred directly to your ship. Thanks for doing business. My pleasure. Take care, Adam. Okay. It's a weird one. So the question is, how is this going to go wrong? Third party. I bet it's going to transfer the info on our ship. Ooh, mainframe component. And an energy core. Yeah, I don't like that. Why is it just a straight up reduction? Alright, well, shred that. Swap these around. I guess I could send this the home base. Why not, right? Alright, well, seems easy enough. Do we... No, I said I would do three, three or four, try to do a number of these in a row, and a number of these in a row I will try to do. Are you tired of being picked on? Then why not treat yourself to a Salver Pulse 9000? Salver Armament Group. Because even a loser deserves a good laser. Who is that? The signal is emanating from my own systems. Ah, serves me right for buying cheap scrap from my uh -huh. own. I am running diagnostics. Attempt jumping again. Every time we try to jump, that's what's gonna happen. Ouch, my teeth! Sorry, kid, but you've got cavities. Oh, again? But don't worry. Try Footnax. Footnax hand lotion. Your teeth deserve it. The messages are triggered by the new software. What? Can you disable them? Not without deleting the entire package and rendering the encryptor useless. I need to have another word with that Fallon Pango guy. Why would you use hand lotion on your teeth named after... Anyways. Yeah, I kind of figured something was going to happen.
Hey, you didn't tell me that the encryptor came with ads. As I said, its main component is very rare. It's the only way I'm able to sell it for such a low price. If you cannot pay, you either have to live with the commercials or find a replacement. What kind of replacement are we talking about? A very bold one. If you feel adventurous, you can go to these coordinates. You will immediately know what I want when you see it. In the meantime, I'll remove the cheap module from your ship. Guess I have no other choice. Okay. I'm already feeling like I should have kept my gunship for this one. Okay, Forlorn Vale. Really? Oh, here. Alright. Oh, question now. As... Yes! Alright. So either leaving the system, or I just waited long enough and the, and the bounty went down. So that's good to know. So you don't have to pay the bounty off. You can just wait long enough and it goes away. So now learning that, I still feel like the Hitman job is maybe not quite worth it. But they are easy to do. At least you don't want to do like a lot of them in a row because then you have to... Wrong place. Uh, like if, if like you end up locking yourselves out of a number of... How do I work this? Trading systems, it could screw you over if you're not careful. But they're still better than the ramen ones. Holy crap. There we go. This must be the place. Okay. Where do the hacker's coordinates lead? To a cave entrance below. Another cave. Hopefully without crawlers this time. Oh no, it's gonna be crawling in crawlers. What? That that sentence feels horribly redundant. I suppose is my issue. Yup. No other resources. Whoa! Oh. Oh, that's a drone ship. You know what's really good against drone ships? Check this out. Uh, we're actually going to get rid of the teleporter. And grab the Annihilator virus. Focus the carrier. Get in. Get it closer. Pop this. Wait a few seconds. Ah, uh, that did not do as good as it usually does. All right. Hold on. Usually, that virus will spread to every drone as well, and just pop them all at once. What's up, Adam? Having trouble? Hey, Alex. No, not really, but since you're already here. Yeah. Whee! It was appreciated. Uh, let's go ahead and switch back to... Teleporter. I suppose we should upgrade something else. There is a... Upgrade. Increase damage for restoration. Any interesting one here? Oh, acting. Missile defense system. That could be a good one.
Let's go ahead. Master it. Pretty deep. It's only a 380 meter range, though. I, I mean, it's good to have. I'm not saying no, that sucks, but. What's the boost? Oh, I didn't realize the boost was that. Used. I might max out the boost when I get a chance, too. The, the, the web. It's a 37 second cooldown, though. The teleporter's got the things. So, in combat. The boost might be better because of high pressure. Um, sort of thing. The missile defense, of, like for clearing mines, I'm curious as to how useful that is. Or, there was one of the, um, for 28 seconds? With a 24 second cooldown. Oh no, that is interesting. So one of the challenges had everyone drops mines. If you can just keep this up constantly, that oh you're dealing with mines becomes a lot easier. So this has potential. But I think we go we go with our standard tried and true for now. That was neat. Still haven't found an equalizer. And I assume the EMP missile upgrade will require EMP missiles. But we can make those. We can't make... All we can make is coil gun. Not equalizer. So I, I am keeping an eye out on shops and that sort of thing. I suppose we could get lucky with crafting one. Detonator sauce. Entrance is blocked. Hmm. You will require a detonator to get through. Didn't I see a GNB dig site when we flew in? Yeah. I can borrow one from them. I assume steel one would be the more appropriate freezing. This isn't an ordinary mining operation. Hive, do you see that? If by that you are referring to the ancient structure up ahead, I would be what? able to offer some information. The ancients were believed to be higher beings, distant oh. to and revered by the Oka. Oh. Ruled over a powerful and far-reaching empire, yet they mysteriously vanished from historical record some millennia ago. You don't have to tell me. I painfully remember our previous encounter. Yeah, they were pains in the ass. We should know better than to risk a run-in with an ancient warden. I don't think they care. Interesting. Okay. So that's what he's at. That shaft leads to a back door in here, I bet. Fair enough. Um. I will try crafting a new coil gun. Do I not have? There it is. What did I just do? I hit X. Mark as red, whatever. So what did we get? Uh, little upgrades. Uh, cannot be damaged. I'd rather have this one than the one I'm using, to be honest. So let's go ahead and shred this one for the parts. I like the beam laser, so we're going to stick this with what we have. A little minor damage upgrade. But, now, now, I don't have to worry about being damaged, and it still has the chance to disable shields. Which is appreciated. Um, snag all of that. Oh, resources. A boulder. Oh, that's the one we're blowing up. Sorry. Wait, what? Oh. Grab the container. Great shit to sell. Probably in Cito. Never 
never hurts to have. Okay. Right. How do I get in there? I don't see a path. Oh, here's the path. Alright, in we go. Wrong one. There we go. Shipwreck. Ooh, and a blueprint! Ah, ship module. Scorpion missiles. Right, these are the ones that lock on and then they just instantly hit the target. You don't get a lot of them. They do a ton of kinetic damage though. But the, the, honestly, this is why I like the homing missiles. Because if they hit energy shield, they will still do some damage. Let's go ahead and dismantle that. Oh, actually, that's a pretty good one to have. Uh, probably better than this one. So, um, well, we can, we can do that. All right. All right. Ignore my news. Itchy, gotta ignore it. So we are looking. Well, a detonate. I were a detonator. Where would I be? There's a freighter. That's Probably dangerous. How far away is the freighter? Excuse me? Oh, there's a whole section over here. I love it. That. We're gonna have to fly under to get this one. Rotate down, in, open, snag, uh, shred. Appreciate. Right. Oh, it still says it's over here somewhere. Nothing's popping. I might have to go. Not seeing a puzzle. Might have to go. What guy? That's a laser, not a detonator. Search air. Oh, I literally had to fly into it. All right, fair enough. I guess. All right, act the terminal. I don't shoot it, do I? No. Okay. Oh! I see. I gotta shoot the button. Whoa! Whoa! And then grab it? Oh. That one... Okay. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.